Hello everybody out there on YouTube, my name is Chris Nicholson. I have to apologize about this video, I just came back from a trip from Orlando, Florida. Basically visiting the theme parks and everything, visiting some friends. Um, what I'm going to show you today is basically how to load up your software. Now this is a software that actually comes with your Yamaha keyboard. If um, you have a Roland or a Chord keyboard, loading up your software might be a little bit different. Now this software contains to any Yamaha keyboard that has the USB jacks. You're going to need your software and you're going to need a USB cable. Any USB cable can do. You know, it just has to have the male and a female end at the end. Also, do not lose this disc, guys. This disc is not copyable. So you try to put it in a CD writer and try to copy this disc as a backup, you can't do it. I tried many, many times. Another thing is that this is going to be a USB MIDI drivers and also your internet connection. We're not going to explain about the internet connection today because I don't have the USB LAN line to go actually from the keyboard to the computer of the internet connection. But I'm going to show you how to bypass that because you can download lots of stuff for this keyboard using a website that I actually found for the PSR link and I'm going to give you the website later and you could download styles, voices, everything for this. Okay, now the reason for these is that you're not using your MIDI parts right here and the reason for these is that you're eliminating this. This is a USB MIDI man 2x2 uh, USB interface and this little box here you know it hooks up same way computer to MIDI uh, one thing about this box is that it costs like $45 in the store and if it doesn't work properly especially Guitar Center and Sam Ash you cannot return it at all so if this box got accidentally dropped and you bought it you cannot return it at all you lose $45 automatically Okay, stick around. I'm going to show you the next step. Okay, now you take your CD and on your computer put in a CD drive. Do not install the CD at all yet. Now, in the back of your keyboard, you have two USB jacks. You have the device one and to host. You're going to be using your to host. Now, all you need on your USB cable it's the male end of a USB cable and plug it into your to host. Now your female end of the USB cable goes into your computer. Now on your computer screen, as whatever Yamaha keyboard software that you put into your computer, um, it's going to show the model number right over here. Also right on the bottom it's going to show what would you like to do next. So, you're going to press the first dot right up here. It's going to say install the software automatically recommended because you already have the software in your drive. So, once I do that, just press next. It's going to find the PSR 3000 that I have on here. Now, as I said, it could be any Yamaha keyboard. So it takes time to actually really find it because if you have a lot of stuff on your computer it's going to take about say like five minutes to find it. If you have very little stuff, right now I just found it and it says would you like to continue anyway of installing this software. So I press continue anyway, Yamaha USB driver is installing. And then after this it says finished. So I finish it. So every time that you plug in your Yamaha keyboard into your USB jack, it will recognize it. Now this is what you gotta be careful of. If you plug in your Yamaha keyboard into another USB jack, it's not gonna recognize it at all. It has to be the same USB jack. That applies to any rolling keyboards. If you do the same thing with the rolling keyboard, or if you do the same thing with the chord keyboard, um, it applies to basically the same thing. It has to be the same USB jack. Take time 
And you know, I usually don't like to do this because I have so many USB jacks on my computer. You should take the time and actually install the software into all your jacks. So no matter what jack you put it in, it'll recognize your keyboard. Now, the next feature that you have to do on your computer is that you have to restart it. So, all I have to do is press restart yes, and it's shutting down. Okay, so, now after you did all of that, what you want to do is you want to test out the Yamaha keyboard on your computer. So, this is what you do. Go to your start menu, go to your control panels. Now on your control panel, you have to find sound and audio devices. Click on that, go up to where it says your audio. And go all the way down to where it says mini music playback. Select the drop box and also go to Yamaha USB in and out. Actually, it's called Yamaha USB out 0 1. You also have 0 2 because on a PSR 3000, it's really 32 part multi timbre. So, press apply. And OK. Now, every time you hook up your Yamaha keyboard straight into the computer, your Yamaha keyboard will act as your MIDI tone generator. Now, the next thing that you want to do is go to My Computer, and go to the CD that the Yamaha is actually in. Once I press the CD on here, I am actually going to test out the MIDI files. So when the CD um, pops up as in the Yamaha category, you have production information. It's basically what the newest Yamaha keyboards are out in that line. Um, you, could, you could use online registration. This is your USB drivers, you already did that. If you want to install Acrobat Reader, this is your internet connection. Now this is your Mega Enhancer. If you have a Yamaha product with the Mega Voice technology and you did a MIDI file, the Mega Enhancer puts all those other little missing parts from your guitar track like your fret squeaking or if you finger picking, every, you know, every little detail of a guitar or a bass guitar, that's your Mega Enhancer. Music Downloader, um, I don't use this that much because MIDI files are out and you can download anywhere. Also you have Music Notebook. Now the Music Notebook actually is supposed to be like on a Clavinova feature to actually show you how to play a piece step by step using music and also using the keys on there. Now on the lower Yamaha keyboards, that feature is already built into it. I have no idea why they didn't put it on the higher Yamaha keyboards. But if you read music, you can use your guide feature on your Yamaha keyboard. Now we're going to go into here. 50 great for pianos. So if I wanted to click on a piano piece, I just pick any little piano piece that I have right here. And say for instance, Maple Leaf Rag or the Entertainer, I want to pick Maple Leaf Rag. Just double click it and your keyboard show play. Now everything is coming from a PSR 3000. And you're not using a jump drive, you're using straight from MIDI into the PSR 3000. If you have achieved this and it's working properly just like the way how I explained it, you got a MIDI interface. Now, once you hook it up to your software, Cakewalk or Cubase, all you have to do is when you load into your MIDI devices, make sure you click on the USB drives. And that's basically it, guys. Anyway, if you have any more questions about this program, or this video, I should say, um, 
please email me back. And I apologize again for making this video late. Thank you very much and have a nice day.